<clears throat> Welcome back to Game of Thrones Telltale series. We're gonna do episode 4, then after that will be 5, and then 6. Do the dead frighten you? <clears throat> when you play the Game of Thrones, do you you win or you die? Cersei Lannister. They can live in my new world or die in their old one. Daenerys Targaryen. Previously on Game of Thrones. <coughs> My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, well, well. you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marie? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Don't think this is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your warden. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. I'm afraid you've got the wrong man. I was further along the wall Don't the... you stand there and fucking lie to me, boy. 
Someone butchered that man like an animal and left him to bleed. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? It wasn't Garrett's fault. We were on watch when Brit just attacked him. Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall who wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. No, we're not. He's telling the truth. You can't fault a man for defending himself. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusty's. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod, you told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crasters. But there's no coming back from this. This isn't right. Brit's the murderer. Frostfinger has this all wrong. What Brit did to your family, anyone would want him dead. But John... Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crasters. How is this any different? God be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men.
hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron, it's all right. One run in was enough for me, thanks. Clearly. <clears throat> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course. A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he loves. <laughs> He wouldn't harm anyone. Not unless he was attacked. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, Selsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother has been <coughs> murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do <coughs> is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourselves, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Pesca here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons. 
guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. <coughs> we can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Going into Marine. What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Best get. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the <coughs> corner is always fucking big. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's the problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer Roderick staying down in the mud. No, but Griff will see that you pay for what you did. Look at me, Royland. You can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you're gonna give up then? There are other ways to fight, my lord. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knee. Wait for me to attack. Let's try it again. How you do it? <laughs> you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Lena, she insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia, Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. <coughs> you could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. 
I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. <laughs> you brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. Why to still have my little brother? I hope Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quinn. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. But we're not children anymore. No, I suppose we're not. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all of one hour. Not to I mention wouldn't put it past Jamie. her. The Lannisters have spies. <clears throat> What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. 
He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? <clears throat> Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? <coughs> He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. This might help. <coughs> that might be useful. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Probably covered with fleas. Just sand. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. I don't know what I expected. Well, this one looks loose. Garrett! Got it. What are you doing here? I heard him talking. <clears throat> You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. But well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Can you see any other way out? 
There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. <coughs> He's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. How's it looking out there, Cotter? Fine, I suppose. We have to hurry. Someone will come along soon. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think... It's lucky I'm not frost finger. Thought you were being sly. I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, you bastard. What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. I'm asking Garrett. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. Plenty of oath. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. The vows I said here, I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're gone now. Oh boy. Then how fast can you run? Thank you. 
worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roger. <sighs> the rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? Let the maester go, Griff. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like oh. you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? <laughs> you know what I think? <laughs> My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. <laughs> Just like you maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure. Ah, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick! Oh. I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the... Who gives the orders? What are you waiting for? Come on, defend your lord! Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it! Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your fucking family! Let go of me! Leave Ironrun. Take your soldiers and get out. <coughs> and maybe I'll show you mercy. I'm not going anywhere. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! Ugh. 
<laughs> Is that it then? Fuck you, Roderick. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. This isn't over, Roderick! Word cannot reach High Point. We must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you... Obey my orders and getting pissed drunk before a mission. Okay. You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are you I will you not let about? you bark orders at me. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. See, too much stuff in here. He's dead. You can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? <coughs> what the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Come on, Croft. You can do better than that. Ah! <laughs> you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. Are you afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway! Mr. what the hell is going on? <laughs> you gonna lecture me too? <laughs> <laughs> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do! Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go! You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! It's just a city, Beska! You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You wanna help? Come on! Fight back. Is this what you want? City. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But it made you strong, didn't it? You say that like it makes it worth it. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, 
He was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry, Beskis. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hate <coughs> Because of that man. <laughs> Marine is a city of dead children. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. Woman. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. This is important, Sarah. Important enough to get us both sent home. I have to do this. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? <laughs> She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. <Stop> it. <laughs> What? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? My apologies. 
I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! You've got to be kidding. Andros, you're being ridiculous! It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last... stop dealing iron. Is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. I broke into Tyrion's study and stole it. Risky, but it worked, clearly. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? <coughs> it appears to know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. <clears throat> Please excuse me.
Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister. Ah. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. <coughs> I always feel a bit out of place in a big gathering like this. But the words go in one ear and so, right out the other. What brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Fodmore.